umpire John Harvey to bounce the ball to start the second term, a term that was early dominated by Footscray. Then Melbourne started to nip back into it uh, towards the end of the quarter, get a lot more of the ball on their forward line. In fact, they've had an inside 51 more time than Footscray. There's Ops free kick so far, 9-1 to one in favour of Footscray, but in all fairness, most of them have been there, been a couple of soft ones. Again a bounce, still in the centre. Wine versus Steins. Wine has been uh, winning that battle, I would say. And again a, another bounce. So scoreboard showing 3-3-21 uh, Footscray. Melbourne are on one goal for a total of 10. 11 points when early. It looked as though Footscray should have been five or six goals in front. Oh, that could have been a free kick against Wine. No, the umpire didn't think so. I thought he threw Steins out of the way then. Now, here's Jeff Hilton. Hilton to the half forward line. Punched away by Costa. Glenn Lovett trying to get someone coming past. He found him in Hilton. The former St Kilda uh, half forward on Rover. He kicks it to the half forward line. Gary Lyon races out for it against Brad Nicholson. It beats him over the line. And Gary Lyon is Melbourne's uh, sole goal kicker. For Footscray, we've had Grant with one, Callum with one. And Ben Sexton with one. And Lyons' goal came seconds only before the siren at quarter time. Demons a chance here. Lovell, the hand pass is intercepted by Costa. Across the ground, Footscray out of trouble. West. Kicked by West over half back. Osmond! Oh, terrific play. Richard Osmond, formerly of Fitzroy in Sydney. Up towards centre wing, Hargraves works to the front. Knocked over by Seacamp, no whistle. Brett Lovett goes back with his hand pass to Primke. Now Seacamp. The, ump the umpire took a dive and he's got the dirty shorts, John Harvey. Bruce Steins to Cowell. Kicked by Cowell towards half forward, too high for Smith. At the back, Neats with a chance. Stanfield hasn't been near him yet. Obst. Well played by Andrew Obst, a backhander. Cameron got a bit of a touch and Griffin... And a really good bump on Lovett. That was from Collingwood. And the ball and Lovett. Out of, out, Lovell, rather, out of bounds. Half forward for Melbourne. Neitz versus Stanfield. Back it goes to the boundary line. And the, the trainer hands it back to the boundary umpire for another throw in. Right at 50. Again, it'll be Neitz versus Barry Stanfield. Obst over the back, socket off the ground by Hopgood. Here's Steve Collinook, he's got it at half back. Sit back. Taken by Brett Lovett, here's Danger. In towards Lyon, oh, good diving attempt, but taken by Stanfield. Back it comes. Oh, Steins, he's very highly skilled, onto the left. Kicks it out in front of Dyson. Dyson is a booming kick if he can get onto his right boot. He took, well, Lovell underneath it, it was kicked too high from him. Taken away by Smith. Smith under Nicholson. He went without it. A bit of fumbling going on in this match. And I'm sure this will be a bounce. It will be a half forward for Melbourne. So Gary Lyon, the last man up. The only goal scorer for Melbourne. Umpire decides to throw it. Wine takes it out of the ruck. The right foot clears the area but only as far as Steins constructing the defensive wall. Long into the fall and Smith couldn't take it and the ball straight to ground once again and the umpire of game will bounce some 25 metres out from the Melbourne goal. We well, got up high again, Terry, then, didn't he? He does it consistently, doesn't he? Gives himself a real chance up there. Lion again, but Nicholson defensively now wide towards the boundary and finds it. Brad Nicholson, one of the young up-and-coming players in the defence for the Footscray side. One of yours? I'll take him. <laughs> I'll take him. Stanfield and Neitz again. This time it's Hilton right in there. Can't get through. And the game has really tightened up now. Both coaches would have been uh, very, very keen for their sides to be able to get the next goal here in the opening part of the second quarter. Not too many positional moves were made by the coaches during the break. Once again, throwing up 
Stanfield needs Collingham quickly out of the pack, buying a little bit more ground, but again, wind in front, turns right foot into the half forward line. Gasper, Primke, and Liberatore underneath. Fantastic work. Great play by Liver, his ninth disposal towards the 50. A juggled mark is taken by Kellett. He's got a chance, Nigel Kellett. 42 metres out, a oh, just offline. A pity. He played it so well. He knows it. He's normally a good kick for goal on the run, too, uh, Nigel Kellett. It's been very dangerous since being moved to the half forward line. His ability to get up towards the wing and then be a running receiver. So Marcus C. Campbell, dangerous, and comes off to uh, Gasper. He can go wide to Cowell. Cowell, that's good play because it creates a loose man. There's Darren Cowell, comes around half back onto the left. He's a good left foot kick. Here's Cameron at the back. Stein's used his body beautifully. On to Ops. Here's a chance for Melbourne. The leads are coming. It's Lyon. Oh, great use of the body. Lyon was held by the arm. A bit stiffed up to get a free kick then. Smith. It's a further fin with Costa. Here's West, and half back, Scott West. To Wine, Wine seems to be in everything at the moment. Back to West, that's how you get a couple of stats. Keep running past the big fella. Here's Osmond at the front, punched away from him. Todd Viney, oh, rode the bump beautifully. Well played by Todd Viney. On to Phoebe, now Hopgood. Hopgood looking for someone to give it to, so he kicks it wide, the needs a good lead. Oh, he's got Lovett on his own if he kicks it now. He's seen him too. He brings it wide, Love it dives, and takes the mark way out at half forward. Sean Smith's on the lead. Here he comes. Can't mark. Taken by Rowan Smith around the corner, back in the direction of Neitz, who flies high. Jimmy Steins. Oh, he can't control it. Love it. Back to Steve Phoebe. Phoebe to the half forward line. The big fly by Rowan Smith, who takes a very good mark. Top mark by Smith. See Todd Viney coming off with his left arm hanging down by his side. Looks as though he's badly hurt, Viney, and being replaced by Uze. Liberatore for Footscray. The kick up short of the 50. Kellett is there. Desperation in the Melbourne defence. Brigitte's a little hand pass out to Nigel Kellett. In goes Gasper again. It flips Melbourne way. White. Whistle's gone. It's up the ground. And a Melbourne free kick to be taken by Hopgood. in between halfback and centre wing out of sight of the ground Footscray hanging on 3-4 Melbourne one goal for not much scoring at the start of this second quarter and we've been playing about seven and a half minutes for one point only Gasper to Brett Lovett kick by Lovett towards half forward Lovell can't quite take the mark Hilton oh on his own is Steins Jim Steins on the 50 great ruck duel with Wine Steins pokes it high and wide and the mark taken by Dyson Steins has taken five marks, 11 possessions. Wind, five marks, eight possessions. Two Brownlow medalists in the ruck. And Kevin Dyson lining up for goal for the Demons. Pretty wide out. 35 to 40 metres from goal. Short passes and Steins builds on his stats and might also get a goal. He is very mobile, isn't he? And was very smart there too. Uh, Scotty Wine was caught between... Uh, two positions that go up and mark Steins or go back onto the line and try and protect the goals uh, they found Steins Jim Steins just seven goals in 18 matches this season this one should be another he's got it well, Melbourne have come out and done very well at the start of this quarter it's been a very hard slog both sides working aggressively across the midfield. The Footscray defence standing up, Costa and Smith have been very good, but it's now taken Jim Steins, the on-ball ruckman, to float down into the forward line and kick Mel Melbourne their first goal for this quarter and beat them to within six points of Footscray. So again, the duel continues. Wine beats Steins for that, taken by Quill. A low trajectory kick hits Kellett on the chest. 
Hallett, another low trajectory, kicks it, good one to Sexton. Gee, that is good play. Beautiful football by Footscray right from the centre. So Sexton will be lining up for his second. It's a great kick from Nigel Callard, finding Sexton coming out on the third side that he wants to have a shot from, and got him. Well, the difference was they kicked it hard and low, and Melbourne have been lobbing it straight up in the air, Terry. As we see Sexton, pretty straightforward shot for goal, but oh, shocking kick across his body. Never looked like it, he's put it out in the full. So that is a very poor kick by Ben Sexton. Did you take him for kicking down there, did you, Terry? No, I think that was Bernie, that was. Oh, we'll blame Bernie Quinlan <laughs> for that. Well rode by Hopgood. Not much room to work in there alongside the boundary line. The kick up towards the centre of the ground. Thread by Stanfield. A boy from Fish Creek in South Gippsland. Gets the ball going forward. Well played by Footscray. The hand pass back to Cameron. The ball missed him, but he applied a good tackle. It spills to Glenn Lovett. Open forward line for the Demons. Lovell on the 50. It sits all right. Over the top to Gary Lyon. Nobody in front. Lyon for goal, but misses. Behind to Gary Lyon, Melbourne at the moment having all the play, and it's 3-4 to 2-5. Well, it's a huge game, this one, for both clubs. Both sides in the eight at the moment, but uh, with a couple of sides just knocking on the door, it's uh, still a very important game to be won here by both clubs. So Rowan Smith to bring it back in. He's gone very wide, and he's found the man out there in Shane Allen. So Allen at half back, a nice looking kick towards the centre wing area. Oh, a big fist away was by Steins. That was good play. Oh, a flying kick by Wes. And uh, someone thrown out of the pack there. And that was Andrew Ops still with the football. He's feeling the umpire say he copped it across the face. But let's see what happened. Ops. There's the kick. Billy really got winding, as a matter of fact. So let's see the ruck duels again. Wine wins it. He's getting most of the hit outs, but umpire said for holding the ball against Kim Costa. And it's a Melbourne kick after a very good tackle. And this is Brett Lovett. Kick by Lovett. And once was a regular Victorian State of Origin representative. Stanfield, Throw. he threw it. He was in trouble from a bear like tackle and threw it away. Melbourne free kick, Neats. And I see Andrew Lamprell coming off the bench for Melbourne. Demons already have Viney off the ground, looks injured, I don't know that we'll see him back. David Neats, who's been sensational in season 1995. In the absence of David Schwartz, he stepped right up to play centre half forward brilliantly. And a straight kick here, which will be a tough task, but if he gets it, the Demons will be in front. Oh, he's kicked it out of sight. Oh, poster. Oh, did he have the distance? That was a great kick, wasn't it? Uh, in un uneven footing out there, far out in the half-forward flank, uh, David Neitz gave every chance. Melbourne have come back well at the start of this second quarter. They've been able to control a little bit more of the ball through the midfield. But, uh, again, the Footscray defence is standing up quite solidly. Uh, Rowan Smith again has been kicking in beautifully today. And that's no exception. A long, low trajectory drop punt. Steins and Stanfield, Colonel. Oh, well done by Smith to get it to Hopgood. Under Brett Lovett. Lovett wide to Sean Smith, who hooks it back to the half forward area. Oh, they fly from all angles. Here's Stanfield getting it to Nicholson. Nicholson off the side of the boot. I think deliberately because he could see the men. Uh, charging after it and that was uh, Chris Grant that goes over the line half forward for Melbourne the Footscray their last goal was the 16 minute mark of the first quarter and here we are the 14 minute mark of the second so they've come to a standstill Smith across the half back line even behind the half back line a quill wide to wind out of bounds on the full and Neitz will take the free kick into play for the Demons. Melbourne trailing by four points, making a comeback. Kick by Neitz is not bad. 
Lyon stays down, Smith the mark. There is no better mark in the competition for his size than this bloke, is he? He does it so very well, doesn't he? I think, yeah, he's actually had a 12 mark game during the season here, back in round 12 against St Kilda, and he's just such a fine aerialist. The way he took front position in that contest, he was always the man best suited to take it. Well, this isn't the hardest kick in the world. We've seen easier ones missed. A goal will put them in front. Oh, good kick. Demons lead. Well, Fitzgerald dominated for a long time, but they've come to a standstill. They have drew and uh, opened up so very well with the first of three goals. But Melbourne have rebounded now with the last three of the game. One from Lyon, Steins, and now Smith. Uh, significantly all three of them from marks so Melbourne are starting to get a bit of a flow about their game going and uh, looking quite dangerous so oh, Steins went without it again oh here's Lovett they're starting to get it out of the middle well played to Glenn Lovett Brett Lovett to Glenn the long kick racing back with the ball is with the flight is Griffin he should take it over here he kept it in play it was a bit dangerous and then Eventually it rolled over the line. But uh, all of a sudden, Melbourne just starting to get a few things going for them here, Terry. The centre bounce becomes vital, doesn't it? And uh, while Steins and Wind have clashed so well there, the, the smaller players in Melbourne are starting to take over. Well, how will the umpire see this? He's calling play on Liberatore to West, to Stanfield. And Footscray all off the side of the boot. Barry Stanfield was a very poor kick. And Steve Phoebe will take this penalty kick way out at half forward. Now, he's got a loose man here in Glenn Lovett. He's found him on the Dyson. Dyson onto the left foot. Oh, an ordinary kick, Dyson. That's poor play. Just bounces before the line and over. But a lot of bad mistakes being made with the kicking skills. And Alan Joyce has reacted to Glenn Lovett's good form. And Brad Johnson has come off the bench now to tag. Throw in. Another chance for the Demons here. Uze! A snap for goal, a good effort by the kid. It just gets across the face. In fact, still in the field of play. Smith and takes the ball out of play. Who's a 17-year-old youngster in his first season. And another chance for Melbourne from this boundary throw-in. Stanfield and Neitz. Hopgood. Close to the boundary line. Can't kick goals from there. Uze is there and bounces in favour of Lovett. Oh, courageous defence by Smith. He put his body on the line there. It certainly did. Good play, Rowan Smith. You'll see here Lovett ducking back. To, and Smith, he wanted to put that over the line. Would have taken a brave umpire to pay deliberate there. Neitz used his body well. Well played, David Neitz. Quick kick. That Liberatore is shuffling it out. Smith dummied that very well. Uh, young Jeff Bruce of... Fitzroy should learn by watching that. Yeah, Not run, to run, run over the line with the ball. You, you just dummy it a little bit and pretend to pick it up and knock it on. So Stanfield versus uh, Neitz. They both hang on to each other there. Ops. Oh, it's shuffled out. Cameron. On to Griffin. Away they go, the Bulldogs. One on one. Kripke should mark here. And he does. Kripke versus Grant. Thought about going on with it. And he's got a loose man in Ops. Getting a lot of guys on their own, Melbourne. Obst, an ordinary kick, a shocking kick by Obst. He's kicked it straight to Smith. Brad Johnson, actually just off the bench. Uh, uh, Johnson, I should say. Free kick here. Phoebe interfering with Osmond. Actually, Ozzy put him down. Phoebe's on the deck and Osmond plays on. Steve Phoebe's still down. Long kick by Osmond. Oh, what a mark! Magnificent mark, Sexton. A free kick as well, Bert. Phoebe is still down, so whatever Osmond did, he made it count. He's just up on his feet now. This is good work by Ben Sexton. The front position quite strong on Lamprell there, and uh, the free kick was eventually awarded by umpire John Harvey, but full marks to Ben Sexton taking the front position. Actually, you don't get much better than that for a man out of position. Take the mark. Sexton, he kicked ordinarily in the first quarter. Love a goal here. Oh, look at that kick. A beauty. He's gone from four lines to choppers. He 
there's Osborne and Phoebe. And he threw the arm back, Richard Osborne, and down went Phoebe for quite a while. But from there, the play worked quite well. Uh, Sexton in front there. The foot scrape forward line. I haven't had the opportunities in this second quarter. This becomes a very crucial centre bounce. Uh, Melbourne had the momentum. This goal the Footscray have just got may well stop it, but they need to back it up at this centre bounce now. The Bulldogs by four points as Steins versus Grigich having a spell, having a go in. The Rucker won't call it a spell. Here's Brett Lovett, a quick kick to this dangerous forward line. Short Smith, oh, he is a good player. He is a good mark, and he read that beautifully. He's a terrific aerialist. He is. Uh, this is where Alan Joyce is going to find the absence of Danny Southern quite crippling here this afternoon. I think uh, Shane Allen has come back into the side to take the touch, but Sean Smith's quite an experienced player now. He's spent a good period of time at North Melbourne and uh, has enough games under his belt to be classified as a good league footballer. Well, it won't be an easy kick. Well, he's not far out, but you can see that ground around there pretty... Uh, still fairly heavy. His footing won't be good. And he might have just missed this. And exactly what I said, that, that, that area there, they're not, not going to be any gimme goals, I don't reckon, when you're kicking from that area. Just over four minutes remaining in the quarter. Rowan Smith going back to kick in for the Bulldogs. Somebody from the crowd got it way over his head. Bolo pass by John Harvey, the umpire, gets it back to Rowan Smith. And uh, Footscray went more than a quarter without a goal. 16 minutes first quarter was their third goal. And about 20 minute mark fourth quarter, their uh, second quarter was their fourth goal. Good distance with the kick in. Stanfield takes the mark. Kick by Barry Stanfield. All of a sudden it's a half forward, a juggler. Second touch was Primke. Down he goes with Grant. Now Parr will ball it up. And I reckon for the last six weeks they've been training in the mud and the slush and the cold. And all of a sudden they hardly know what to do in the sun and the warmth. Glenn Lovett. Primke caught in a good tackle. Jim Steins getting heaps of the football. That is 13 disposals before half time for Steins. Quill to the 50. Hargraves almost. Phoebe and gets it back with a little one two with uh, Brett Lovett. And centre wing Uze. Uze long to the half forward on line in the front position. And that'll take Griffin hard through it. Clash of heads. Griffin and Neat. But Lyon steps up into the contest. Finds space. And Andy Lovell. Left foot. Misses to the right hand side. Gary Lyon showing all his experience and poise within that particular play. One moment at ground, then up on his feet and able to deliver the ball to Andy Love. Footscray lead by three points. Cameron halfback flank. Finds Johnson. Scott West. Foot up, balances with one bounce. Hargraves in the front position with Sexton again. Ben Sexton has really taken over in this part of the game. Second very good mark against Lamprey. And if the last kick is any indication, he should go. Well, he had one shocker from here and one very good kick, so... See what he does with the third one. The last one was a very well balanced approach. A little habit there of Ben Sexton that. Well, that'd do Darren Berrett, uh, Bennett justice, the former Melbourne for putting that foot above the head. So Sexton for his third goal has done it. It's nothing less than you'd expect a forward to do inside the 50, but there have been dozens of blokes today who have missed, so he's done well with those last two. He has. Uh, you know, the 
returning into the side, it, it always takes a little bit to settle down. And, uh, ben hasn't had that much football of late. But now, as we move into the second quarter, his confidence certainly will be growing with those two very good goals, the last two goals for Footscray. The Bulldogs by eight points. Steins versus Grigic. Brett Lovett getting plenty of touches. Hopgood. On to Dyson. Kevin Dyson. On to Obst. On to Lovett. Love it wide. He sees Jimmy Steins out here on centre wing. The chip passes on. He finds Glenn Lovett. Melbourne could do with one before half time. It's pretty crowded forward line at the moment. Smith and uh, Doyle is down here as well. Doyle at the back. Thumped forward. Andy Lovell tried to use his body then. It's crunched into the ground. And the umpire will come in and bounce it. What about that kid Uze, a 17 year old playing uh, just his sixth game and he's always already become a bit of a cult figure. Every time he gets it, you hear the Uze. It's a bit like Val Perovic and uh, Ange Christo. Ruse. Yeah. Ruse has played nearly 300 to get that status. This kid's played half a dozen. Centre of the ground, Melbourne sharing it well. Obst over the top to Dyson. Steins in a bit of space. The kick by Steins, plenty of distance. Smith. Good punch away by Ellen. Ball plugs in the ground. Glenn Lovett. Dyson tries to palm off his opponent. Oh! That's all right if it works, but if you come to a sudden full stop, you are gone. So Brad Johnson wide and finds Leon Cameron. Brad Johnson, a very highly skilled player. Now Cameron has spotted someone here. It's Grant. He tries to get it on the half volley. He's got support from Grigic. Grigic to Osborne. Osborne to Grant. Grant was linked against Primpty. No doubt about that. And he better watch out or it could be 50. So Chris Grant way out on the centre wing. Finds West. Danger for Melbourne with five seconds to go. See if Footscray can take a mark. No, they can't. Free kick. Oh, boy, a final kick. Siren's gone. Seacamp has given away a free kick to Hargraves, and what a vital kick. Here it is on screen. He grabbed him just slightly. Not a lot in it, but uh, I think he did grab him initially. Now I had a good view. Normally you go quick at those. Yes. No, no, if you grab the bloke, but not those ones down the other end, but they're just dead set charities. Here's the kick. Hargraves has put it through right on uh, half time. What a handy goal. So at half time here at the Western Oval, the Bulldogs, 6-4-40, lead Melbourne, 3-8-26.